favorite family recipe is also a recipe for making money and creating jobs here at home. Well, tonight, David Muir tells us about a woman, a cake, and the road to success. David. How many of us have that family recipe we all love passed down from generation to generation? Well, tonight, what if that gift kept giving in the form of brand new American jobs? When that sun comes up in Spartanburg, South Carolina, one determined baker and her mother already at work. Oh my gosh! How are you? And World News was about to be in on their secret recipe. Oh, 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 oh. But before we dive into their homespun ingredients, how this baker got here, Kim Nelson, a contestant on that popular ABC show Shark Tank, hoping for an investment in her all American cakes. My company is Daisy Cakes. She handed them out to the judges piece by piece coconut, wow. red velvet. Yeah. Carrot cake. carrot cake. I noticed when you passed your delicious cake around, every guy here ate more than 50%. That doesn't mean it's a good investment, Barbara. But after each of these guys dropped out, they bent forward, I noticed, and had another bite. One judge think? was in. Do we have a deal? Of course. Yes, ma'am. And we wanted to know what Barbara Corcoran good. saw in that American recipe. Pleasure. Do you believe in Made in America? I believe in Made in America, and more importantly than that, you get a passion in the entrepreneur. They want to make a difference. And back in that South Carolina kitchen, we've learned they've now sold more than 25,000 cakes and counting. All over the country. Yeah, every state, even Alaska and Hawaii. Kim and her mother, Geraldine, and that family recipe. And on this day, they were revealing to us their red velvet cake. This will be fun. <laughs> She says now. <laughs> Some of their secrets, the hand-sifted flour, the dozen farm fresh eggs, the red food coloring, of course. Wow, it smells so good. And the vinegar. Do I stir this? How am I doing, Geraldine? <laughs> she tells me to measure the batter. That's about right. And to be precise about it for every tin. The secret to red velvet cakes is don't ever cook it. Don't overcook it, that's the secret. And as we put those tins in the oven, we learned those cakes weren't the only thing rising. Listen to her business. It's now the commercial ovens. The more than 240 people she employs baking her cakes in New York and Tennessee. Made in America, able to bake 5,000 cakes a day. But batches, big or small, Mom Geraldine, the key ingredient, is by her side. Oh, we're proud of her. You're proud of her? Yeah. We're proud of her too. Kim told me her biggest secret of all, getting people to taste her cake. She goes to every bake sale, every contest. So I took her advice, Diane. I brought you back the cakes we made while we were there. How nice. You don't have to judge me now. We can do this in the okay. newsroom afterwards. You did well. You did well. But the first thing she did was get people to taste it, follow up and follow up, just driving by herself That's with her cake. That's what she said. To every convention she could, she would take Geraldine, her mother, as her top saleswoman with her. And now she's able to, to outsource, but in America, to these other big commercial kitchens to have them use her family recipe and ship it out to all 50 states. And by the way, for viewers who are wondering how the heck we got these cakes here to New York, uh -huh. she puts them on dry ice, and that's how she ships them out. So this is the container, and she shipped them right to New York. It's so great. I'm dusting off the meatloaf and coleslaw recipe.